four by four. Come on, get him! Hey guys, it's Ryan. Hey guys, it's Ryan from Ryan's MC Studio, and I'm bringing out you guys another episode of, uh, of, um, hmm, it's, I already forget the name of the series, I'm just kidding, Super Fox Survival. So, um, I try, I meant to, uh, sorry for my stuttering, I meant to record a video of me making this house, however, uh, that really didn't work out because there was no audio, and it just got screwed over. So this is my substitute video, so you get to see what I did in the previous episode. I built a house out of wood and fence for windows because I couldn't find sand anywhere and I'm too lazy. Got a couple extra goodies like some emeralds, went trading. Uh, we can do some more stuff like that now. So, hmm. Let's work on our farms. Let's get these things harvested, get some more wheat so that we can get some more food to survive, which is important. Like, a lot. So, I want you guys to, uh, if you ever decide to play, uh, Super Flat Survival, to take my tips for advice. They can be very helpful at some points. So, yeah, let me work on this, yo. Do, 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 do. Just planting all my seeds. So let's think of what we can do in this episode. All right, uh, we're going to. I'm going to show you how to trade because I didn't do that in the last episode. Uh, houses, they're pretty self-explanatory. That's your lear first learning how to play Minecraft on Super Flat. But that's not really that good of a choice. Uh, <coughs> and whatever I think of later. And there's two blacksmiths. What? Ooh, dang. I never even noticed this one. That's some good, good stuff, yo. That's some great stuff, dude. Anything in here, did I already take the stuff? Check all the blacksmiths for chest. Yeah, I got all the stuff. Wow, that's pretty good. We got ourselves some goodies. Make sure to always check the blacksmiths. If you don't know what they look like, they look like this. They've got a little lava pit here. They've got furnaces. You go in, there's a little table and chest back there filled with goodies for all for you to keep for yourself. It's really awesome. Really cool. I started making a nether portal with some obsidian, which I don't know where I got the obsidian, but okay. I think I got it from the blacksmith shop. I got six. So I started working another portal, but I'm gonna need like more to make another portal. Plus if I didn't use these, I would only have to have four more to go, so I shouldn't have used the corners here. But that's too late. <laughs> so let's go put these goodies in our chest. And I'll show you guys how to go trade. So, do, do, do. It do. So, hmm. <coughs> Let's go find some available traders. Let's see if there's any traders. Whoa, d am I s I'm not peaceful. Who plays on peaceful? What a noob. Not easy. I should be on normal. There we go. I'm on normal. There won't be mobs out. It's not usually the best time to go trading, but we could get some a couple goodies with our new set of armor. Most of the p uh, villagers are in these homes at night, so we could spend one emerald on bread, or we could get some emeralds or or bread. I mean. Hey, hey, get off! Get off these guys! Hey, hey, hey! Killed some oh gosh. Zombies. Hey guys. 18 coal, 3 emeralds, 10 gravel. I like this coal guy. He sounds, he looks pretty cool. You're cool, you're cool. I'm not gonna kill y'alls. Stone stairs, sweet. Lol. I got a couple pieces of chunks and stuffs here. So who what do we need now? Let's go find some coal. <coughs> I think it was eighteen coal he was offering. I don't think they can break down fence gates, so I made a little fence gate system. Yeah, we don't have that much coal. We have charcoal anyway, we don't have regular coal, so that would not work at all. So let's go eat some food and 
since it is night time and the beginning of the episode had to be at night, sadly, let's go, um, work on mob drops. Okay, criticals, which is what I'm doing now, is, I'm not really good at fighting creepers, is when you jump hit, it does more damage than a regular hit. Now, hitting things is kind of obvious, it's with, uh, uh, left click. I have currently have a iron sword, iron chest plate, and iron boots on. No enchantments or anything, but that's what I have. So, hmm. let's think. Where can we uh, find some more mobs out here somewhere? Probably the moon is the moon is uh, falling. It's about to be daytime, and when it's daytime, we're gonna work on some other good stuff that we're going to need to progress on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, don't, don't kill me, don't kill me. No, 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 don't kill me. Whoa, did I just, that seriously just happened? Skeleton shot the creeper. It shot me. He was going for me. You wanna get, oh gosh, the creeper fell in the hole. Let's go kill the spider, watch out! Oh god, we gotta get some food so we can reach at health. And after that, we're gonna protect our villagers. No one. I'm out of this place. This is too dangerous. Whew. Let's go find some of our villagers and protect any of the nearby zombies trying to break down any of their doors. Huh. What villagers? Oh, God! Spider! Get away! No. They're fine. He's fine. That door is open. Uh, that door is open, so, huh. Mm -hmm. Defend these guys. Ooh, wow, there's some people in here. That was my goal. Ooh, so this is a good example. So we're going to take our wheat, put it in this slot right here. Oh, by the way, to get a villager to trade with you, you just right click on the villager you want to trade with. You enter you put in what you want, and you take out what you want, and then you have extras that you take out. So I just got to one emerald. Yay. Oh god, there are some zombies trying to break down some guy's door. No, 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 don't break it down, don't go, no, 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 don't break it down, don't break it down, no, 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 don't break his door, no, 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 can't do it, he's my friend, that's an enchanted bow, holy crap. A zombie hitting me with an enchanted bow. Sounds safe. Totally safe. Sounds totally safe, you know? Totally safe. Okay, looks like it's morning, so uh, let's work on some of the stuff we need to work on. I already showed you guys the basics of trading. And so now, the villagers come out in the morning. There happens to be a bat nearby. Really, a flame, a burning zombie. Or this door must be partially broken. I guess it is. Well, we've got some arrows stuck in our head and butt, I guess, which is kind of awkward. Oh God, I did not mean to do that. F5, boom, in the back, in the leg, in the head, and in the chest. They got some pretty vital hits on us. Oh, they get some zombies. Come on. I have no clue where this is water com water is coming from. That's weird. So yeah, harvest your crops. Make sure to always replant whatever you get. Ah, uh, this will be very helpful. Now, about this house, let me show you some features. Defenses help. Definitely. I'm not sure if creepers can see through fence though, so if they do, that would be definitely a, not a plus. I put a little fence area around here because they can't break down fence gates, but they can break down doors. So I got double protection. You know what I mean? For extra safety. So yeah. Uh, huh. What else do we do? Show you guys. Uh, hmm. Eventually, you're going to need some flint later in the game, which you can get by gravel. You're going to need that to set fire to things. 
definitely a useful thing. Flint. Flint is definitely useful. Nine gold. Nope. Can't have that. Eighteen coal. Nope. Seventeen white wool. Nope. No, definitely not worth it. Don't ever take those stupid gravel deals. I think they're horrible. If you think they're good, then that's you. But I don't think they are that useful. And if you don't want to craft a furnace, you can just take one of them from here. From the, uh, blacksmith. Is there a zombie seriously breaking down the door from the inside? That is just funny. A zombie breaking down a door from the inside. I don't have any iron pants yet. And we need eight emeralds for that. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me see, uh, Check this place again. Oh, that all stuff. Slave hole. Where they got all my trades. Oh. oh yeah, you guys have got some trades that are kind of. I don't even see one of those like trade. Oh, that's so weak. What else do we have? That's weird. Who the heck keeps breaking down these doors? Yeah, a bunch of boring guys. Sweet guy right here. Pretty cool sweet. Fabrication. The fastest sweet. Watch it. Alright, so let's go see if we can find this iron pants guy again after I get myself some of my things. Oh god. And your house protection is definitely going to help you. Because once you get your bed and your wool and stuff, however you get it, probably from Strig, that you turn into wool so that we take some of my mob drops out and put some in. So let's craft, so we could craft one wool, I believe, yeah. One wool that will be useful to us, very soon. Very soon, actually. Okay, need some food. Put the slime ball in. Flint potatoes. Slime ball. Okie dokesies, okie dokesies. Alright. So, hmm. So, uh... Let's see what to do next. Now that we've got the mob drops trading and house safety down, what else should there be? I made a little trading thing. Aw, oh, dang it. I forgot to get those stupid emeralds. Dang it, I forgot to get them. Let me check. If I have eight, then I'll be able to do it. I'll do it. Please tell me I have eight. I only have five. I can't get those iron pants. You can't get iron on Super Flash, or like, well, like, you can, technically. So if I get three more emeralds, one more iron, somehow, I will be able to have a full set of iron and an iron sword. That will be, would be great. Very great. Very, very good. Very good. Oh, God. Okay, now when you're fighting slimes, they're going to, the big-sized and medium-sized all can harm you. The little ones, they're the ones that drop the slime balls and stop spreading when they die. So one, one of these, uh, big slimes, I think, creates a total of 16 little slimes, which can get you, uh, maybe eight furnace, a total, it's either eight or 16, I'm not sure, but it gets you definitely some slime balls. Holy crap, I'm not even sure what that is. I'm causing a commotion. Why am I singing that song? <coughs> now, if I brought my emeralds with me, woo, what's this guy do? He's a fish slapper. Boring. Ooh, what the heck you got? You sound pretty cool. Hmm, nine gold, you're dumb, you're dumb. You're pretty cool, but I don't have coal, so your problem. I have ender dang, nope. You need one eye of ender to get to the end, but this is super flat. No one's gonna be using those dang things these days, yo, you know. Alright, so let's say what we can get here. <laughs> Some items that would not be able to get in super flat usually you'd find in trading. Now to get your wood, you've got a full f area of wood right here for these farms. It, however, is not renewable, but it should last you a while. If you need to, 
there's no other way to get wood but find another village and steal that village's wood. Alright. So these are the medium guys. Drops three. Three of them, which drop four of these. Each of you get like about. Dang. These things are definitely. Definitely a lot of them. Of lots of them. So. Sun's about midpoint, starting to fall. I think we got like another five minutes left. Or night. Maybe four. Maybe less. Who knows? <laughs> hmm. So let's think what else I can teach you now. Don't have anything to repair items yet. We don't have that because my iron sword's about to break. That would suck, but it's going to happen a very, 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 very soon. <coughs> Don't go for slimes when you go for mob drops. The s slime balls will only help you with sticky pistons. You're not going to get redstone and iron and stuff like that to make a piston unless you're lucky. Because so. then you're going to have to find um, the stuff in the blacksmith chest. You're going to have to find a bunch of villages and stuff. It's going to be hard. I don't actually know this, so I'm going to check this right now. I'm going to see how deep this goes. Soup. Flat. Whoa, that goes... Let me see. It goes down four blocks. I wonder how high up it goes, though. That's what I'm curious about. Hmm, who knows? <coughs> Alright, uh, this one's definitely getting low, and I'm running out of things to talk about. Uh, ooh, I'll talk about harvesting crops. I already did. Hmm. I'll definitely have ideas for next episode, but currently I'm brain dead, technically, because I have no ideas for what to do. Um, uh, I'm just going to dig in a harvest until it's time to go. Then I'll think of new ideas later, because I ain't got nothing right now. And I mean nothing at all. Yay, I got some wheat and some seeds so next episode I think we should actually go maybe I hope we don't get lost we should take all of our goodies and try to find another NPC village and if we're unlucky we have a lot of source and we'll only take what we need so yeah that's the thing that sucks about this though you know you gotta give up some things you, you know you like so, um, time to check the sun again and put away some of our wheat. Yep, the sun's going to last for another 30 seconds to a minute, probably. So let's just put all my, my crap in here, all my good stuff, my potatoes, my carrots, my seeds, my gravel, now gravel pile. Even though there's no point in gravel, but there is point in flint, so yeah. Alright. Oops, I forgot to get rid of that. Well, guys, it looks like it's turning nighttime, so... Let's say goodbye to the day and watch the sunset, and then go into our homes and... Sign off with to you guys. For the end of this video. Let's, let's count down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six... Five, four, three, two, one. The sun has <gasps> sadly fell. Or, I don't know what it's called, whatever. It's now becoming nighttime, so that's our sign to sign off for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Shout out to MC5 Lukes. I will put a link to his channel in the description. He's my friend. He helped me out on this one server and on YouTube. So, uh, shout out to him, and thanks guys for watching. Peace out. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and rate. Or comment, rate, subscribe. I said that wrong. Well, anyway, peace.